I'm Cornelius. And I'm Sherry. And we're here in the Creston Science Lab for another episode of Creston Science Theater. Today we're talking about the scientific method. It's the method that all scientists use to solve problems and answer questions. We used it just last week to finish a lab in Mr. Rosendahl's class. Remember? Okay class, now, for tomorrow, I want you to tell me, does an ice cube melt faster in fresh water or in salt water? So, what are we going to do about this homework assignment? I don't know. Can we use the scientific method? Um, sure. What's the scientific method again? Well, it's the method that all scientists use to... I know that, but how do we use it? Well, in the note here, it says, first we have to state the problem. So, what's our problem? Well, I know what our problem is. We have to get this assignment done. No, our scientific problem. Well, I suppose our problem would be, does an ice cube melt faster in salt water or fresh water? Okay, got it. So, what's next? Now we have to form a hypothesis. Oh, a hypothesis. My grandma has that. No, that's osteoporosis. A hypothesis is an educated guess to what the answer to the problem might be. I think the ice will melt faster in the salt water because in the wintertime the salt melts the snow. That's a good idea. I like it. So we're done, right? Get serious. We still have to do an experiment to test our hypothesis. An experiment, eh? To the lab! Alright, let's do this. We need ice, salt, a spoon, and two beakers of water. Then add salt to one of the beakers. Then stir. Then you take two equal sized ice cubes and place them in the water. Then you observe. Now that we're done with our experiment, we have to come to a conclusion. Well, it looks like the ice in the fresh water melted faster than the ice in the salt water. Yeah, let me record the time. Well, that's just one time. Perhaps we should try it again. Perhaps. In all of our trials, the ice cube melted faster in the fresh water. Welcome to Mr. Rosendahl. Hey, Mr. Rosendahl. We finished the experiment. Our results show that the ice melts faster in the fresh water than in the salt water. Excellent work. But now, can you tell me why? Here we go again. Off to the lab. Alright, so first we have to state the problem, right? Yeah, and then we have to form a hypothesis. And that's how we use the scientific method to solve a problem. Remember, the steps in the scientific method are... State the problem! Form a hypothesis. Do an experiment to test the hypothesis. Form a conclusion based on the experimental data. As you saw in the show, conclusions lead to new questions to answer. It's all part of science, using what you know to find out what you don't know. Well, that's it for Christ in Science Theater. See, See you, you next time. time. Excellent.